Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Dunbar Snack Bar with some more MLB The Show 20 gameplay with the man, the myth, the legend, Roberto De La Rosa. So I'm wanting to try and go through this as quickly as I can. Don't get me wrong, I love being in AA, uh, but I'd love to be in the majors here as quickly as I can. But I'm like torn right now because I can just go ahead and I can simulate forward, but I feel like that things are gonna go a little bit quicker if I continue to play as uh, Roberto de la Rosa. So it's like, and by that I mean like in-game. By the way, his stats are awesome right now if you take a look at those. Um, but like when I think about like in-game speed, it's obviously going to be faster if I go through uh, versus whether or not I just simulate it. Now the thing about de la Rosa is... Uh, ooh. Not going to get him. I bet that one was a close one, but over there at the hot corner, nice dive to go ahead and make the stop. Throw not in time because the dude's got 88 speed overall. As a speedster with Sigmund Sun Wafer, I know that a lot of those can be uh, pretty easy to get on first, but ooh, that was super close. Anyway, I like being able to see how uh, Roberto is going to develop over time because if I go through and play the games, like, I'll get a higher strikeout per nine inning rating and things like that. But I don't know how it is from your guys' perspective, like if you care whether or not he's in AAA or if he's in the majors. Because uh, another thing that I've, I've thought of is as I've gotten back into this channel playing baseball and playing only baseball, whether or not I want to keep uh, these players going year after year. You know, do I want to play as somebody different for MLB The Show 21? Now, one big thing that's kind of waned in my mind for that, though, is on the PS5. I have no idea how things are going to go. Strikeout right there. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to carry your saves over from one gen to the next gen of game console. Because I'm like, maybe if you save it in the cloud, maybe there'll be a way to kind of transfer it over. Or they'll make you just start fresh. In which case, it doesn't really matter about what happens with in-game. Uh, timing, but who knows? Just something to kind of think of for next year. High fly ball, catch is made. Boom. All right, two outs now. So the runner over at first, not too worried about him getting home, uh, unless this is a solid shot hit into the gap or one of the gaps in the outfield. And I feel like I'm going to get out of this one, but we'll see. Oh, he's trying to steal. It's a good pitch to go on with that being my curveball. And I wasn't anticipating him going because. He didn't have, like, a ridiculous lead. And he hadn't really made too many attempts previous to that one. Actually, he didn't make any attempts. But really nothing that made me think, okay, he's going to be going right there. So, nicely done. Ooh. Drives that one in the left. We get out of the first inning without allowing the run. Not bad. I feel like the last couple games with De La Rosa pitching on the road, uh, it's kind of nice to, to be at home a little bit. Get a... A boost here I feel like oh come on man let me catch that one it's not like I get too many opportunities to feel the ball that was disappointing you know you just want to get under there make the catch pretty easy it's an infield fly shouldn't be too difficult but no someone else has to get it I'm not good enough to make that catch jerk face we're rolling along here in the second inning with two outs really not too much out of the ordinary but I'm really starting to see a trend with uh, Roberto here where we're being pretty consistent with not allowing runs. Uh, yes, I have had a couple games where I've given up a considerable amount of hits. But the times where it matters the most, like when it is those clutch situations, I've been pretty consistent uh, with how I've been pitching. And I think it's just already getting a feel for what pitches work for him. And of all the my players or the road to the shows that I have done in the past, I feel like that Roberto, or, oh crap, guys, Roberto uh, has been the easiest to kind of get a feel for what it's going to be like, what pitches to use in what situations, and kind of where his strengths are going to be. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I think I've just been dominating so quickly. And it's been nice out of all the different ways that I've been playing the game. Uh, I still feel like pitching is my biggest strong suit. I'm still struggling a little bit with hitting. And I think that's just because I'm playing uh, on a different... Uh, monitor well I'm playing on a monitor now so I've got it hooked up to to my computer 
Um, but I used to play on a TV and timing's just all different and stuff. And, and that's not as much as just hopping into it. But pitching has been pretty solid and it served me really well here in road to the show thus far. Full count. Nice. So that strikeout for me was cool because coming back from a 3-0 count and then just getting the strikeout. I mean, obviously, uh, I gave away a number of pitches right there, which very early on in your road to the show, you don't want to do that because your stamina is pretty low. But still come back, get the strikeout, and I'm good. You know, the 12-6 the curve that I've been throwing, uh, I've really been impressed in how that pitch has gone for me as well. That's one of my favorite pitches to go to. And it seems that even in uh, the case here with uh, De La Rosa, how many times I end up throwing it still seems to be working pretty well for me and not too many people are kind of figuring see there you go uh, and then I'll be going with it I think that's just because I am you know that kind of pitcher who's just all about speed here but the the pitches I'm I don't know if I want to bring in a fourth pitch really at this point I could but I think I want to wait until I get the other one solidified like the four seamer solid the 12 six curve is is getting there uh, the two-seamer is probably the one that I throw the least and, and therefore is also the one that is the least developed. It will probably be that one pitch that I go to uh, in between games just to try and increase the attributes of it that way as opposed to just going through the natural way of things of just you know kind of throwing it. Velocity, I mean, uh, I'm getting that a ton with the four-seamer and obviously the break with the 12-6. Um, but with that two-seamer kind of being that one pitch that you're, you're kind of iffy on as far as which one you'd want to develop. I don't know, I maybe speed, but I don't know. I kind of want to split it 50-50 between getting the velocity up with it and also the, the break. But these other ones, like I want the 12-6 the curve to remain slow, but to have just that awesome break. That for me would be like the best pitch to have. I really don't know what I would go with though with a fourth pitch. I keep thinking I need to check to see if Ephus is in the game. I remember it used to be, and then I think it got taken out, but just like a super slow floater would be awesome to mix in with, with Roberto's 100-plus mile-an-hour fastball when he gets there. He's not at that point, obviously, yet. 3-2 count. Going to go low and outside with the curveball, and it works yet again. That's the fourth strikeout that we've had this game. I seem to be averaging about one and a half strikeouts per inning, which is actually really, really good. Um, so seeing that I'm kind of at that point right now here in the third, having uh, four Ks, I'll, I'll take it a little bit below where I think my average is. But, oh, man. When I saw that one go off the bat, I'm like, dang, that's a homer. I have not given up a homer yet. That is, for me, surprising. I know that the two areas that I, I see just kind of diminishing on a regular basis uh, when I play this is my uh, home run per nine innings and my hits per nine inning attribute. So seeing those ones continually, like well, I shouldn't say continually decreases in like it's happening all the time. The attributes are still growing, but seeing that that's where I get dinged the most, um, I'm really surprised. Like see it right there. I wouldn't say that that was like a real power shot, but it must have been how he swung at it and what he chose to do. Um, but yeah, like seeing where I get dinged right there for it, uh, I'm surprised that it, it hasn't stayed as low as it is and I haven't given up a home run because of that too. But let's try to see if we can force. Nope. Ah, dang it. I was going to say, see if we can force a double play. That's got to be the second or third walk that I have given up in his career. Most of the pitches are kind of spot on. While control is still an issue for him, uh, I've, I've done a lot more about just being smart and continuing to keep stuff. Ooh, right back to me. Let's go double play. There we go. There it is. Yeah, he's mad, but you know what? I don't care. That does not completely make up for the fact that I try to get that fly ball and... I was denied the opportunity to get it, but oh well, we're good. Let's keep this low and inside. Four seamer works. See, another ding to the home run by nine inning. See, it's my walks per nine that has, I think, really grown as well as the strikeouts per nine inning too. I'd be curious to see though, uh, how much of a difference that each one of those 
uh, ones get you. So, like, if I don't walk somebody, does the meter increase much less than if I get a strikeout for the strikeout per nine innings, if that makes sense? Um, I should probably look into that and kind of see. I would imagine so because, oh, wow. Got a decrease in my strikeout per nine right there. That's not something I feel like I've seen much. Anyway, top of the fifth. Runner on first. I've given up some hits in this game more than I think than I have in just about any other. So that's kind of concerning for me. Still at the phase, I feel like, where I'm getting a feel for how the other teams are going to be able to hit against me. Because I've been saying, like, I feel like I know how Roberto's going to pitch, but I just don't know um, what is going to be a good game from an offensive standpoint. Now, the team that I'm going up against is uh, one of the better ones, I, if I remember correctly. Um, but anyway, you know, they do have uh, some, some players on their team who have been pretty consistent with hitting. So it might not be me who's kind of struggling this game. It just might be the team that I'm going up against. But I keep it up here. Now that I'm up the count, one ball, two strikes. Let's go with the high four-seamer inside. I might try and go with the two-seamer every once in a while now, just to try and break things up a little bit. That one kind of moved a little bit uh, to the center of the plate from where I had wanted it to go. Still adjusting that, too. Like, sliders? Oh, man. I don't know what it's been, but sliders with just about anybody that I've been, been playing with, uh, those just drift over to the center of the plate far more than I would like. Let's try and see if we can retire the side in order. This is one of the first challenges that I've had with Roberto de la Rosa. I'm going to get so good at rolling my R's after this. I'm not going to lie. Dang it. Here I go with this challenge, retiring this side. Very first pitch. And I fail it. That sucks. We're cool, though. We're cool. We'll keep it up. Now, honestly, the way that it's been going, too, with my pitching is I've done a lot to be able to help the team every time that I pitch. You can see we've only produced one run so far. So as long as I can you know, make sure that I'm not allowing any runs from the other team, I've got an opportunity to give my team a shot every time that I come out here. And so those one-run one games, which normally would, would be a loss, uh, we can turn that into a win. We'll see, though. That double play, huge. Designated hitter. Let's see if we can get out of the the inning here without allowing any other run. Four seamers kind of struggled a little bit here towards uh, the latter parts of the game, and I think that's just because I try and mix it up with my pitches and try to have an even spread between what I end up throwing. Uh, I haven't seen, and I remember they used to have this, where it would give you a percentage of what pitch that you had been throwing, and I don't know if that's something that we'll see you know, kind of in the, in the majors, but I haven't seen anything like that here. I'd be interested to see what the dispersion is uh, between, you know, the, the three pitches that I throw. Like, is it pretty even, or uh, do I throw, like, the the two-seamer, you know, 20% of the time and, and 40 for the others or something? But, you know, I, I really don't know because it seems like when I'm going for that third strike, I kind of split it between going with the 12-6 curve and the four seamer. There we go, getting it done. It's another strikeout for me today. By the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm gonna be skipping through that a lot more. I had noticed that I was like showing you guys who's who's coming up to the plate for my team. I don't think you really care that much. You probably want to save the time. But... All right, high fly ball in the center. I'm at 77 pitches now, and I am starting to get tired, as you can see. So this shouldn't impact me too much, except for the fact that I could get pulled at any time. Nice steps on first, and we're good. I think if I allow a base hit, that might be when I end up getting pulled. Because since we're only up two to nothing, I think we're going to be far more cautious about going to the bullpen uh, than you would typically see. There we go. That's going to go ahead and end the seventh inning. So I am going to make it into the eighth. All right, calling for the 12-6 curve. Let's go ahead and throw that one. Again, low and outside. That one. Ooh, I got that one. Oh, dang, I forgot about that. 
<laughs> like, okay. So having not played as an infielder at all this year, I, I still get surprised by the, oh yeah, I have to throw it over in that direction. Man, if I play as like a shortstop or something like that, it's just in the back of my head, like, okay, make the quick throw over to first, but you gotta aim. Especially as a pitcher, I don't think about that. That's probably my biggest weakness is I'm not considering fielding too much, just, you know, right after I throw it. But there's a base hit. We'll see what happens. Yep, I called it. So getting pulled right here, not a big surprise, but that's going to give me, what, 7.1 innings? So I'll take it. Yep, everybody's cheering for me. Hats off. Not allowing any runs. Not a bad game for Roberto De La Rosa. Well, that's going to be it here for this episode. Of course, I'm going to be posting more as quick as I can. Maybe as soon as tomorrow we'll, we'll do another... Uh, three episode day which I have not done this in years it's taken me a lot of work to be able to get this out so I hope you guys are enjoying it if you are like the video subscribe hit the bell icon uh, so that way you can see more of these episodes and also other episodes from MLB the show 20 if you can't support me patreon is the best way to do that I am building that right now as well as a uh, place where you can go request games if you're kind of into that and also there is a link to the Dunbar snack bar discord it's pretty quiet so drop by say hi uh, things like that. I, I check it uh, pretty regularly and respond there too. Anyway, thanks for watching you guys I appreciate it again more to come until next time. I hope you guys have a good one